Hello everyone, welcome to my channel. This is Handmade by Gardena and I'm going back and doing day four of hashtag seven day summer digi 2021. It's a collaboration with Care Branding Creations and Dear Julie Julie. And we have a large journaling card with some lemons on it, some definitions of lemon and lemonade by Julie. This little girl here, I think Julie called her Daisy. We have a postcard here and some small ephemera here from Julie. And here is Kara's day four. We have a pocket, some journaling cards, some tags, some mason jars, and then a, uh, a label. So this is day four. So, let's get started. So, I thought on this, I would put this label down on here. So, I hope you all are doing well. I'm sorry I had to come back and do day three and day four. But this will have me all caught up, and then I will be able to, this is the Wink Estella that I'm just putting on a little bit of the butterfly, just to make it stand out. And this is on Dear Julie Julie's. Let's do a little bit on the flower, too. And we can sell it. It's about like a, a glitter pen is all it, it's about like. And today I'm using the silver. And let's just highlight our little bucket right here. If I can keep my eyes from burning. Turn my video camera on and now my eyes wants to burn. Okay. My goodness. I've been recording a lot this is I'm going to turn this into like a little miniature um, side tuck on this and then that way if we want to we can put something in it So, like, if we wanted to put that in there, we could. So, there is that. And this postcard here, I'm not going to do anything to. I'm just going to put a little bit, how accentuate this butterfly a little bit. And let's accentuate these raspberries a little bit. Because I like that just the way it is. So we'll set that up there to dry. And we'll set that up there. And this is Kara's pocket. And what I thought I would do with this is I always leave these open, remember, because. And this right here on the crocodile has a thing where you can set your holes to make them even. So 
So I'm putting two holes there on the side. And then on the mason jars. Let me get this out so I can see. I thought that I would have them dangle down with a ball pin on each side of this pocket. So I hope that you all are doing well and having a good day and getting some crafting done. I'm filming multiple videos back to back. So this is my third video that I've done. I guess that's why my eyes are burning. I don't know. They normally don't, but it'll be all right. Okay. So there's that one. I love those little mason jars. I love mason jars. I think they're cute. Which I try to can stuff too. Which I used to have a big huge garden at my old house that I lived in. But this house here, I don't have a garden. I wish that I did because I love a garden. I love fresh grown vegetables. Okay, so there we have this. Alright, come on and sit right. And we made our pocket with little dangles with the little mason jars on it. And I think I'm going to put this little girl Daisy in it. And I don't want to do anything with her. So I'm going to leave that like that. And with this here. I'm going to turn this into a pocket. Yeah, every summer I would grow a big, huge garden. And, um. One year I planted squash and I had a big garden and I planted a whole row of squash. I had never planted squash before because I didn't like squash, but I used to do foster care years ago. So, oh my gosh, I can't believe that art glitter glue moved. That normally doesn't happen. I used to do foster care and I had four foster kids and uh, then my ex and then me and then my daughter was little at the time so um, there was a lot of people to feed. There was six six people because I always had the boys and they were big boys like six foot tall boys so I did foster care with um, boys with um, MR and um, behavior issues for about three years at home So there's what I've done with that, is I put Care Brandon's journaling card on that. We've made a pocket out of that, and I've put Dear Julie Julie's dictionary on that. And this here, we're going to layer it up. So I had to grow a big garden, to, because I mean, boys are hard to feed, especially when they're growing teenage boys. But anyway, I had grown a whole row of squash because I had never grown squash before. 
and um oh my gosh there was squash everywhere i had froze it i had made um i had pickled it to make different like um like different sauces with squash and things like that I mean just anything that you could think of I give it away to everybody I knew and it was still coming it was like the more squash that you pulled out of that garden the more squash that was still coming it was like attack of the squash it was horrible i was like oh my gosh and everybody is like i do not want any more of your squash go away leave me alone and i'm like i can't do anything more with this squash i don't know what else to do so if you have a garden and you decide to plant squash you do not need a lot of squash, trust me. You just need a little bit because it will grow and grow and grow. <laughs> Finally, I just had to just leave it on the vine and just let him just sit there because, I mean, I couldn't give it away. I, I had no more room for it. And... It, it was just, it was horrible. I was like, oh my gosh, what am I going to do with all of this? It, it was, it was bad. <laughs> and, oh, so never ever grow lots of squash. This is, um, the double-sided tape, the foam tape. And I'm layering this tag with this foam tape or yeah this foam double-sided foam tape to layer this tag to like give it layers and to like raise it up just to make it look 3d and more dimensional so then on the opposite spectrum I wanted some carrots because I love carrots grilled out on the grill. My husband for me now makes them for me like that. I wasn't a big carrot grill, a carrot person until he um, made me those. But I decided to plant carrots. I never planted carrots, which... We've had a garden all my life when I was growing up, but we never planted carrots or squash or anything. And, um, so I decided to plant a row of carrots. So, me and my ex-mother-in-law, we worked all day long on that row of carrots. And, I mean, we worked hard. And I, and I had big, long, long rows. I mean, they were very, very long. And when we got finished with those carrots, we only had five little pint jars. I was so aggravated and disappointed I was like I am never ever growing carrots ever again because you can just buy them from the store that was so much work for such little carrots because by the time that we got them out of the ground And everything oh my lord it, it was so my word of advice is 
don't grow carrots and don't grow squash because they're the opposite ends of the spectrum. <laughs> Now, green beans, I could take green beans and they could grow like squash like that all the time. I love green beans and corn. Oh, my goodness. I'm making myself hungry talking about fresh garden stuff here. Okay, so on day four, this is what we made. We took care of Brandon's little pocket here and... Put her mason jars on here and put them on bulb pins to make them dangle. And I didn't do nothing with the daisy card with the little girl named Daisy. Because little journal, journaling card. Because I just love her the way she is. I think she is so cute. And then on Care Brandon's we put Dear Julie Julie's little small piece of ephemera here on the side and made it a little side tuck right here. Put some Wink Estella on the flowers and butterfly and along the little watering can and put her label there. We still have this small piece of ephemera here that we'll use somewhere. And I just put some Wink of Stella on the butterfly and on the raspberries here on Dear Julie Julie's postcard because I love the way it is. And here we use Dear Julie Julie's large tag, put her lemon and lemonade definition on there with Dear Julie Julie's journaling card. Put a pocket there, which we could just add that there. I don't think, you know what, I think Daisy would fit perfect in there. Yes, she would. We'll put Daisy in there because you can get a good view of her. And on this tag here, we just took some double-sided tape, the foam tape, and just layered this up to give it dimension. Took Kara's large tag and then her small tag and layered it up. Then took Dear Julie Julie's little calendar of August of 1918 with her watermelon and lemons and put it on there here at the bottom. And then took her lemons here and put it at the top. And then I just took Tim Holt's tiny attachment and put the lemons there for the tag topper. So that is what we made for day four. So that completes our seven days of summer dg 2021 so i have really enjoyed doing this with you all i hope you have enjoyed seeing it and remember if you done this if you've played along with us make sure you use the hashtag seven days summer dg 2021 so we can see what all you've created and go to the other elves and watch all of their videos I'd like to thank Care Brandon and Dear Julie Julie for another great collaboration. This is the fourth one that we've had, and I've been in all four of them, and I really enjoy doing them. And thank you so much for allowing me to work with your digitals. Both of your all's digitals are great to work with, and it is so much fun. And in a couple of days, hopefully I'll have my journal complete so I can do a flip through for everyone. Thank you to all my new subscribers. Hope you enjoy my channel. Hope you stay with me. I really appreciate you all. And hope you have fun on my channel. Because I like for everyone to have fun. And hope that you learn something or if you have any advice or any questions or anything for me, just leave me a comment. I'm behind right now my comments where I was, my back was out for about a week. So I'm trying to get them caught up. But I will get you answered. I promise. And then I gotta get caught up on everybody else's videos because I love to watch everyone else's and comment on theirs. And for my current subscribers, really appreciate you all so much for staying with me putting up with me and with all my craziness 
really appreciate you all so very much. Remember to do your smiling each and every day. Smile for yourself. Smile for others. Do something that makes you happy every day for even if it's just for a few minutes at a time. Go read a book. Take a walk. Uh, do some crafting. Um, go fishing. I mean, just whatever makes you happy. Just in, enjoy it. Enjoy some part of your day. Do something for yourself each and every day because you need that. And pass along those smiles to others. And make sure you all be safe, be healthy, be happy, and I will see you all in the next video. Thank you all so much. Goodbye.